Okay, testing, 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 testing the sound. Hey everyone, it's Victor here. And I am just back from getting my first ever tea shot. And saying that, like, I, I don't actually believe it yet. I honestly just... I... I can't believe it. I have been waiting. Well, I contacted my gender clinic in 2016. Was it 2016? God, you know, it's so long ago, I don't even remember. But I have been waiting to start tea for so long, and I just... I have a sore butt, I can feel it in my butt. So there you go. <laughs> I am no longer pre-tea, and that is a completely surreal thing for me to comprehend. Like... Like, you know, you can see right now, it's, it's not set in. I'm. I don't really know what to say other than just thank god I got here and this is happening. I'm actually quite overwhelmed. I tried to do a little vlog on my phone but it it wasn't really much content because I was just too excited and I was just like freaking out um so uh it's rubbish it's just like a few shots on my phone but it's something. got stabbed in the butt and I was happy about it. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. You probably can't hear me because I'm on my phone. I'm about to go in the car, but I will do a vlog and yes, oh my god, I'm dying. And when I got home, Dan and Jay uh, pulled party poppers <laughs> for me, so it was very nice of them. But yeah, I'm sorry, I, I'm not really making much sense and I don't really know how to produce words out of my mouth and my brain because I am like... I think I'm like in a weird kind of shock, like shock excitement. I can't really come up with conversation and I'm really sorry, I'm, I'm not very eloquent right now. But I should probably start by taking you through what exactly happened today. So I had to phone up the doctors today in the morning to actually get an appointment because the nurse is kind of in high demand and you have to kind of like get there quickly. So I phoned up and I got my appointment at quarter past two this afternoon, which was literally like five minutes ago. And so I went, went in, nurse was there, nurse was really, really lovely and she talked a lot, she was very talkative and she took me through everything and she was talking about how I'm on sustenin, 125 milligrams every three weeks for now and that's kind of like the starter thing and I knew that already, but she was just kind of taking me through all the things that I already knew. And then I got the injection in my hip muscle, it's intramuscular injections. It, was, it wasn't very sore. It was fine, it was just like slightly pinchy, uh, but I've had injections in that area before and it's fine. I don't really have an issue with them, um, so it was all over so quickly and so yeah, now I'm back home and I'm just... Yeah, I wanted to video this just after I got back because I knew it would be funny to look back on because I literally don't, want, don't know what to say, <laughs> which is probably a bad idea because in videos you do need to talk, so... That wasn't good planning, I'm sorry. But basically this is the start of my transition. So yeah, I've got an, another appointment in three weeks time uh, for my second shot um, in February. So uh, the changes I can expect for this month are kind of small and they're probably mostly body hair related and mood related as well. So hopefully I don't get too like crazy mood swings or anything, but I'll keep an eye on that. Obviously, I'm going to be working out a heck ton now because I now know that I can build muscle so much easier than I could before. So I'm going to be working out a lot more than I have in the past. And I, I already do quite a bit of weightlifting, but it's never really made a difference. And I'm skinny AF, so like, I can't put on any weight. It's very hard for me to put on weight. So hopefully T will help me in, in that area. Um, Voice-wise, there may be a slight difference by the end of this month. There might not be. Everyone's different, but... My voice could be a little deeper at the end of this month. I hope, I hope, I really hope so. But yeah, I'm just like, uh, I'm, uh, I, I, yeah. I should have just called this video, Victor has no idea what to say, but he started testosterone, so he's pretty buzzed about that. And people that have followed my journey will know how difficult it's been and like how emotionally draining it's been and you know just 
It's been so hard and leading up to this moment and when I was sitting in the waiting room, I was like, is this really happening? Is this really happening right now? Like, I feel like weirdly still in a dream. Am I in a dream? Pinches don't hurt. Maybe I'm dreaming, huh? That's worrying. Maybe I need to spin a spinning top to find out. Has anyone got a spinning top? Anyway, moving on, I'm probably in limbo, but that doesn't really matter because I'm feeling rather joyful and I don't really care. I don't know if any of you have seen Inception, so that might not make any sense at all and you probably think I'm just completely losing my mind, which is absolutely true. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on testosterone. I have testosterone running through my veins currently. Wow, that is, that is pretty rad. Does anyone say rad anymore? Just me? I actually haven't said rad before, that's the first time I've said rad. And don't be alarmed, this is not my blood. That's even more alarming. It's not anyone else's blood either, it's fake. It's a, a very, very, very cool shirt from ASOS that I bought, and I absolutely love it. It's basically, like, it looks like you've murdered someone. My aesthetic. You know what, that is one thing I'm so looking forward to during my transition, is expressing my fashion sense and like wearing more the kind of makeup I want to wear and doing my hair differently. Like those are the things I'm looking forward to so much. I feel like when my voice is lower and I'm passing more and I feel more comfortable within myself, I'll be able to express myself so much better. And that is what I'm looking forward to the most. I'm just like, oh. Finally, my life can start and I can actually like wear the things I want to wear and not worry. I am like so ready. When I walked into that uh, doctor's office, I was just so ready. I was 100% ready, which is actually really interesting because I have been through so many moments of like going, oh my God, maybe I'm not trans, mm, 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 all that stuff, which I wanna make videos about because I really want to educate people about like the fears of transitioning and all the kind of like pressures you're under and like, you know, funny stereotypes and kind of, you know, stuff we don't talk about, and I feel like trans people need to talk about, like, being afraid of transitioning. Like, that is a genuine thing that a lot of people go through, and it doesn't mean you're not trans. Because I have been through that, and I am totally buzzed to be on testosterone right now. There's, like, there's not a single regret in my body. Like, I'm just so ready for this. But, like, people don't talk about that. And I think it's because they're scared. They're scared to admit that they've had fears, you know, which is, like, you know, you should not be scared of that. You should just express yourself and, you know, then other people can relate and then they won't feel as scared. That's how these things work. So I will make videos about that uh, further down the line, whenever I can get around to it. But yeah, I'm, I'm on tea and I am totally, totally in shock. <laughs> in a good way. But it's been a pleasure. Thank you for watching this video. Um, if you have watched this far, thank you so much. And thank you for being interested in my transition and my journey and stuff like that. And I will be making more creative videos. I'll be making more CMVs, more music videos. This year is going to be a big year for me. I'm going to make it big. So keep an eye out for that. So please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment because I love hearing what you have to say. I read through everyone's comments. It's just great. But for now, I should probably go put a hot water bottle on my butt because it is quite sore. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you very soon. So it's very high now because it's very dark. Let me fix my weave first. Oh, is it a video? Oh, I was like posing for a photo, but alright.